Mark O. Madsen in red. And you know, Eric Alvarez, man, he has a lot of influence on a lot of these guys. And I don't know why you wouldn't listen to him. I want to talk about his overall IQ. And yeah, we've certainly had more freestyle guys, DC, in the UFC. We sure do. Greco guys. Oh! This is where he wants to be. He wants to be in these tie-ups. And this is where you'll struggle with it. It is a very, very difficult way to make a living and become a, a, a world silver medalist. Trying to stay close to Clay. But as Clay said, this is mixed martial arts. Madsen hasn't really had to deal with that as much. When he thinks Clay's done, Clay's still throwing. Luke Guida fighting for an underhook under three minutes here to go round one. Madsen applying his championship mindset. Joey Rodriguez, Danny Castillo, joining Jason Guida in the corner of Clay. I've coached against Clay Guida before in high school wrestling. Clay's a really good coach. If he closes too much distance, gets too close to Mark, he's gonna get gripped up. But he's loading up bad on these overhand right. Yeah, the Gotta straighten it up. Much. All right, round two is yours next. Drop it. Starting to get keep keep, keep fading that body and come over the top. Hey, when it's uncomfortable, I want you moving your feet. Just keep moving your feet. It's right. funny, Clay Guida telling us in our fighter meeting that he fishes like he fights. Just cast it all day. Everyone's like, dude, just exercise <laughs> oh, no. the patience. Oh, nice defense there from Guida. So all over that shot attempt from Mark Madsen. It's hard to play to really set his feet now because Madsen showed him that takedown attempt. And Clay starting to loosen up here in the second. Oh. Nice leg kick there from Clay. Yeah, Clay's feeling it tonight, man. We didn't need to follow that overhand or the home run, so to speak, with a left hook, and I think he'd have some success with it. And you know Guida has crazy cardio. A lot of feints from Guida here. Madsen has attempted just one takedown, none for Guida. That that just sounds terrible. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, round three. Coming up. All right. Jabs are good. You should faint. You should jab, and then close that distance. Get in. Wrestle him. Keep that jab going. Jab going. Jab going. Clinch him. Yeah. Jab. And then set up that close him. Hey. I think, oh my goodness, I think Matson fought a good first round. Yeah, just when I think I know who I think's ahead in the strike count, I look at our numbers and it tells me something different. You can't so. listen to that, man. Big right from Matson Lance. The one thing Madsen's doing really good is keeping Clay on the outside, having Clay scourge along the side of the octagon. There you go. Over here. Hey, let him walk into it. Numbers close in all three rounds. I agree with that. Lots of movement, but as far as significant strikes landing, to see Clay Guida fight in the way that he's fighting right now. Bad intentions on that one. Nice jab from Matt. goes the distance the official decision is in here's joe martinez ladies and gentlemen after three rounds we go to the judges score seven for your winner by split decision and still undefeated the olympian i'm so proud i'm so happy that i can bring home a, a victory that means more to me honestly than going to the olympics i mean man 
plays a stud. He has my utmost respect. Gregor Gillespie, I'm coming.